I welcome you all to Nandip Academy for UPSC and MPSC. Today we are going to study multiple choice questions that are based on the Hindu dated 11th December 2020. Let's begin with the first question. Which nations comprise P5 plus 1? This question has been asked from the context of Iran's nuclear deal that is in news. And uh, the options are A. China, France, Russia, United Kingdom, United States plus Germany. B. China, Japan, France, United Kingdom, United States plus Germany. Or C. China, India, Russia, United Kingdom, United States plus Germany. Or D. China, Brazil, Russia, United Kingdom, United States plus Germany. The answer for this question is A. China, France, Russia, United Kingdom, United States plus Germany. We need to know uh, why these countries are in use, why have they been referred to as P5 plus 1 and uh, which is the plus 1 referring to and uh, let's see some of the reasons. Basically P5 refers to the United Nations Security Council's five permanent members namely China, France, Russia, United Kingdom and the United States. The plus one refers to Germany. Secondly, these are a group of nations that are working together to neutralize Iran's nuclear deal since 2006. Uh, the International Atomic Energy Agency in its research concluded that Iran is not up upholding its commitment to the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and this led to the formation of the P5 plus 1 countries. Earlier, these uh, it was just the EU3 which was basically Germany, France and United Kingdoms. Later, um, United States, Russia and China has joined and therefore today these are referred to as the P5 plus 1 countries uh, that are working to neutralize Iran's nuclear deal. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is regarding Roshni Act. The Roshni Act is, is used in relation to which state union territory? The Roshni Act is based, okay, let's see the options. A, it is Jammu and Kashmir, B, Delhi, C, Haryana, or D, Rajasthan. The answer here is A, Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, an act has been promulgated in the year 2001 under the chief ministership of Farooq Abdullah and this act is popularly known as the Roshni Act. There is also a reason uh, why this act is referred to as the Roshni Act and let's see some of the factual, some of the factual information in this context. Jammu and Kashmir State Land Vesting of Ownership to Occupants Act 2001 is commonly referred to as the Roshni Act. Uh, the law granted ownership of Jammu and Kashmir state land to illegal encroachers with the aim of raising money for power projects upon payment of a sum of to be determined by the government of Jammu and Kashmir. The act got, got the unofficial name Roshni Act as it was used to raise fund for the power projects. So in this context, this particular act is called the Roshni Act and it, it is um, particularly in reference to the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Let's see the next question. The next question is, who is Ursula von der Leyen? A. The President of the Union of European Football Associations. B. United Nations General Secretary. C. European Commission President. Or D. World Trade Organization Director General. Uh, Ursula von der Leyen is European Commission President. She um, is in the forefront uh, to negotiate the deals with United Kingdom that is in the transition period after its after the Brexit that took place in uh, early in January 31st, 2020. Uh, some additional information regarded, uh, regarding this uh, European Commission and the Brexit that is in news. Uh, she is in she is in news in relation to the Brexit trade deal. The Brexit is an abbreviation that refers to Britain, uh, sorry, that refers to Britain's withdrawal from the EU, and therefore it is called Britain Exit, or uh, the abbreviated form is Brexit. Uh, it, this Brexit took place on January thirty first, twenty twenty. Now uh, it is in the transition period to negotiate a new relationship with the European Union, and thus it is in news. 
let's see the next question what is herodium a a newly discovered variant of a metal b a vaccine developed to treat covid 19 c a popular tourism destination near bethlehem or d none of the above now here herodium is has been uh, in news um, in real, um, as uh, it is a um, popular tourism destination near Bethlehem uh, which has been opened by the Israel authorities. Um, it, it's exactly located in the, in the occupied West Bank. It is an area where Israel exercises civil and military control. Israel authorities will unve unveil this previously off-limit structure within King Herod's palace, Fortress Herodium. The tyrannical Roman era leader Herod inherited this palace, uh, this place to be his burial plot. Uh, so this which was so far closed for the public is going to be opened for the public and it is in news in this context the answer is C let's move on to the next question consider the following statements regarding the Asian Development Bank a the Asian Development Bank is a regional development bank established on 19th December 1966 B, which is it is headquartered in the Ortega Center located in the city of Mandilong, Metra, Metro Manila, Philippines, or uh, and C, the Asian Development Bank on Thursday upgraded its forecast for the Indian economy, projecting 8% contraction in 2021 as compared to 9% estimated earlier. Which of the above statements is R correct? A, 1 and 2, B, 2 and 3, C, 1 and 3, D, 1, 2 and 3. In this context, the answer is D, 1, 2 and 3. All the above statements in relation to the Asian Development Bank are correct. It is established in the year 1966. The year it was established, uh, there were 31 members and now uh, it has a total of 68 members of which 49 are from within Asia and Pacific and 19 are from outside. Uh, it, envisions, uh, it envisions a prosperous, inclusive, resilient, sustainable Asia and Pacific while sustaining its efforts to eradicate poverty in the region. The Asian Development Bank assists members by providing them loans, technical assistance, grants and equity investments to promote social and economic development. And it is also true that the Asian Development Bank has uh, upgraded its forecast um, where earlier it had predicted that there would be 9% contraction but now uh, it has uh, upgraded by saying there will be only 8% contraction which is um, a, a news in the positive light for India and therefore all the three statements are correct. Thank you.